my name is Nana Abedo. I'm known as DJ Nana because I'm a disc jockey and the best at it. <laughs> my name is Alunge Abisola and I am a professional photographer. Hi, my name is Blessing Omosu, a sports um, journalist, a reporter, producer, researcher, an analyst at the same time, a presenter. Hi, my name is Tina Obiora and I'm a software engineer, precisely web development. Not to feel old, about 10 years, but that's inclusive of when I learned and you know, tried to navigate my way into the business. Over six years, over 17 years and no regrets. I've been in business for seven years, but in my industry, I've been there for 12 years. It was just easy for me to become a DJ because I started going to parties, I started going to nightclubs, and I started seeing DJs. I started discovering that there are other things about entertainment aside singing and acting. I started out as a makeup artist, and um, I just got tired of makeup artistry. I, I wasn't fulfilled, then I decided, let me just try, let me get a camera, let me see how this goes. And from there, it just kept going on and on. Uh, when I was in 400 level, I used to be the number one handball goalkeeper. I knew it was going to be that way, and only daughter I mixed of boys. This was actually Sakba that made me go into take. <laughs> it was not for the passion. <laughs> there was no good reaction. None. Everyone would say it's for people that don't want to go to school, it's for people that are lazy. It was all round negative vibe. Nobody saw it as a big deal. Nobody saw it as photography. It was photography. No, nobody saw it that way. Everybody believed that, okay, if Bisola is going to go into this thing, she, she's going to go into it to make sense out of it. Let me start with my classmates then. They knew it was going to be that way because I've, I was always with guys playing football even in school and I, they knew, they, were, they weren't surprised. As the time I started, it was really male dominated. I didn't have parallel knowledge to web development. I came into it, the next thing, I don't turn head of departments and the guy was like looking at me like this, you know. And before you know, I was leading a team and I started bringing in more women into the company. Hmm, technical, because it actually involves a lot of techniques. Interesting. <laughs> Fun. Fun because you could do anything you want to do when you talk about what, and what I do. And even when you're at work, you're playing, you think nothing serious at all when you talk about sports. We are very carefree people. I would say freedom. Yeah, freedom. I like the fact that my job allows me to do other things. I like the fact that I'm the one who calls the shots in my, in my job. Yeah, I could tell the clients, okay, this is where we can finish this job, even though I know it could take me just one day to finish. Reflection. I think right now, in 2023, a lot of um, women are being given more opportunities. So I have to, I have to at least appreciate that. There is always the equity in sports. There's nothing like you're a man or you're a woman. We are all the same. There are some people that just do not trust women to deliver in the same capacity that men deliver, and because of that, might not even give you a chance or you know how they say that so when you already have something set in your head that this is not too good no matter how good it is you're just saying not too good so, but generally i really think the playing field is becoming wider and we're being given more chances than we were because photography is um, a field that is male dominated a lot of people believe that any photographer that is doing well is a male. It could be tough, very, very tough at times because your standards must be very high. You must be on guard, you must be on your toes. You don't want to be seen as she's a woman. That's why she did this thing like this. You want to even surpass the guys. Ah, no pampering. <laughs> you must work. You must work for your pay. And don't forget, um, most sports um, journalists you see, they usually come in, even as athletes, former athletes, then they come in as a broadcaster. So there's always that thing in you. You are always on your toes. You know what you're going to do. As the men are doing this, you're equally doing yours too. So you won't hear, what we don't want to hear is, you know she's a woman, let it go. It's a male dominated industry. And even the guys in it, the guys in tech don't want to only see guys. They want to see girls. 
when you come in and say, ah, she's a lady, come, 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 don't worry, let's go for boot camp. I will teach you everything you need to know. They want to see ladies around themselves. So yeah, I think as a lady, it's fun to be in there because everybody's rooting for you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I will absolutely train any woman that seriously wants to learn DJing. Like, nothing should, nothing should stop anybody from doing whatever they want to do or achieving whatever they set their minds to achieve it. Yes, I will encourage more women to go into any field that is male dominated, just as I'll encourage more men to go into any field that is female dominated. More are seriously even following this career path and we are so happy because when we started, we knew, we knew or I could say we were very, very few then, but right now we are not, a, we are more. We see lots of them around. Even sometimes we still have those that will be mentoring and we're looking forward to that's our legacy to see them tomorrow come out and even when you retire you just smile and say ah that person is actually my product you know, I, I see a lot of people support male artists or male djs much much more when it's women there's just you know a lot of reasons they feel they can't or shouldn't you know women are neglected a lot so i think they need much much support please define yourself Nobody will tell you that uh, the law of fairness, this is it. The law of, no, 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 there's nothing like that. Once you define yourself and you know you are doing the right thing, nobody can push you away. The right imbalance in sex is, you, you still get that vibe when you get, in, in fact, even from fellow videographers, so to say, you'll be hearing things like, oh, Berenisha, off. Oh. Ah, you so, still, if you have um, 20, male definitely you can have seven ladies but one thing for sure women are already breaking grounds because most funny enough most broadcast um, outfits what they do now especially when it comes to sports they prefer to go for the men folks watch very very closely you see more of the women behind i mean um i mean before you when you talk about on camera than even the guys right now in balance no no the, the male is still higher than the than the female yes the proportion is still very high. Lots of guys in tech, lots of guys in tech. There's a powerful force behind a woman's mind and that's why she can do so many things. Don't stop believing that. Just keep doing it. Whatever you do, if it is your passion, if it is what you really want to do, continue, define yourself, keep going. Don't be scared to ask questions from people that are there already. Keep moving, you are unstoppable. Keep doing what you're doing. Hard work definitely pays and at one point you will reap it just like the way I am actually. Hard work brought me this far. Just keep doing it, it will pay off, don't worry. You look back, you look back, you see all the things you've gone through. You know, I, I, you, you thank yourself that you did not give up. Hi, I'm DJ Nana. Happy International Women's Day and embrace equity. Embrace equity. Happy International Women's Day. My name is Blessing Umosu. Embrace equity. Happy International Women's Day. Hello, my name is Tina. Embrace equity today. Happy International Women's Day.